The Russian Defense Ministry has stated that Russia has successfully test-fired an intercontinental ballistic missile from its latest nuclear-powered submarine. The ministry said that the Balava missile was fired from Prince Vladimir Borai class submarine from a submerged position. The Defense Ministry said in a statement, the missile successfully traveled from the White Sea in the Northwest Archangelsk region to the Kora missile test range in Russia's Far East. The ministry added the flight of the missile took place as normal. The submarine is expected to be operational by the end of the year. It's interesting to note that the Balava program is Russia's most expensive military program along with the Borai class submarine. The duo is expected to be part of the Russian nuclear triad until the 2040s. In this video, Defense Updates reports on Russian test firing Balava SLBM from Prince Vladimir Borai class submarine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Ballistic missile submarines are generally nuclear-powered and carry long-range nuclear-tipped missiles, also known as SLBM, or submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Nuclear strikes can be carried out from land, air, and sea, and this is known as the nuclear triad. Nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines are considered to be the most potent weapon developed by mankind and they are the most survivable part of the nuclear triad. There are good reasons for it. A surprise preemptive strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, but it's very difficult to track and take out a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean. Since they can't be taken out by first strike and can retaliate against an enemy with SLBMs, no sane adversary will attack a country that possesses a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine armed with SLBMs. The importance of these can be gauged from the fact that 14 ballistic missile submarines of American Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. Nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines are very complex and costly to develop. This is why the U.S., Russia, U.K., France, China, and India are currently the only countries to field a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. Prince Vladimir is a Borai class submarine. Borai class is the latest class of nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines developed by Russia and is operated by the Russian Navy. The Borai class constitutes the new backbone of the sea based component of Russia's nuclear triad. Russia has three of these in active service. The Borai submarines are approximately 170 meters, that's 560 feet long, 13 meters, 43 feet in diameter. It's powered by OK-650 reactor developed by OKBM Afrikantov, which uses nuclear fission to generate power. This pressurized water reactor PWR, uses 2245% enriched uranium-235 fuel to produce 190 megawatts of power. Though developed initially in the 1970s, the reactors have seen several enhancements aimed at improving safety and efficiency. Upgrades include better monitoring subsystems, designed for the rapid detection of leaks and newer generation emergency cooling systems for the main reactor core. Borai subs have a maximum speed of 46 km per hour, that's 25 knots or 29 miles per hour. Being much smaller and silent than previous Typhoon class, the submarines of this class will be much harder to detect. Similar to other Russian boomers, the Borai class retains a double hull construction. Borai class includes a compact and integrated 
hydrodynamically efficient hull for reduced broadband noise and the first ever use of pump jet propulsion on a Russian nuclear submarine. The noise level is speculated to be five times lower when compared to the third generation nuclear powered Akula class submarines and two times lower than that of US Virginia class submarines. Borai class submarine is designed to carry 16 Bulava SLBM. RSM-56 Bulava is developed for the Russian Navy to replace the solid fuel R-39 and the liquid fuel R-29 Vysota. The Bulava is the submarine launched version of Russia's most advanced operational missile, the Topol M SS-27 solid fuel ICBM. The missile is designed by Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology. Bulava got deployed in 2013 on the new Borai class submarines. It's intended to be the future cornerstone of Russia's nuclear triad. Bulava, like American Trident II SLBM, is a three-stage rocket but uses solid-fuel rocket motor for the first and second stage and liquid fuel for the third stage, which makes it more maneuverable during the warhead separation phase. The missile is 11.5 meters in length, 2 meters in diameter, and weighs in at 37.4 tons. The missile uses inertial guidance possibly with astro-inertial guidance and or GLONASS update. It has an accuracy of 350 meters CEP circular error probability. Bulava can reach a speed of Mach 24 in the terminal phase. The missile has a range of more than 5,600 miles or 9,000 kilometers. Bulava is also a MIRV-capable missile. It can carry 6 to 10 warheads, each having a yield of 150 kilotons. To give viewers perspective, here's a comparison. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1940, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's little boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's fat man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. Balava is also designed to accommodate up to 40 decoys along with the actual warheads. This is done keeping in mind the growing anti-missile defense technologies. The idea here is that Bulava will be able to penetrate those defenses by overwhelming them with a large number of decoys. New START strategic arms reduction treaty between the United States and the Russian Federation agreed on only having eight warheads per missile, so currently each Bulava will be armed with eight warheads. Bulava has seen a fair share of troubles during the testing phase. The Bulava missile has encountered many unsuccessful tests and this has delayed the operational deployment. Around 10 of the 27 known earlier tests have ended in failures. This was mainly due to budgetary constraints and not due to the technical incapability of Russian engineers and scientists. Russian defense sources had stated that the Bulava missile will not enter service until it's 98 to 99 percent reliable. The latest test indicates that Russian engineers are able to fix the lingering issues. It's to be noted that Russia is planning to build 10 Borai submarines by 2027. A single Borai class submarine will be able to unleash 16 missiles with 8 warheads each. That's 128 nukes. This is enough to destroy a significant portion of any country. This means Russia will have a destructive and updated sea-based nuclear deterrence. But that's not it. Viewers may note that several new weapons were revealed by Russian President Putin on March 1, 2018 in his State of the Nation address before Russian lawmakers and other senior government officials. This includes the Buravestnik, a nuclear-powered and nuclear-tipped cruise missile, the Avangard, a hypersonic boost-glide re-entry vehicle, the Poseidon, an autonomous thermonuclear torpedo, the Sarmat, a new intercontinental-range ballistic missile, and the Kinzhal, an air-launched hypersonic missile. The effort is elaborate and the resurgence of the Russian military is clear. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.